Welcome. Welcome to what was the po Penguin Parlor. And now I am calling the Polar Parlor. My name is Jennifer Reynolds and welcome to Aurora Expeditions and, and Arctic 23. In the past in our Penguin Parlor, we've had an opportunity to explore an awful lot about Aurora as a company. We've looked at Antarctica quite in deep, Antarctica 101, as well as our ship, our lead vessel called the Greg Mortimer. However, today, our 15 minutes together, our polar parlor is now going to be all about the Arctic itself. There's so much going on in the Arctic, Iceland, Jan Mayen, a place you've probably never heard of, Svalbard, an archipelago, Greenland, and the Canadian Arctic. My name is Jennifer Reynolds. I was born and raised in Toronto in Canada. Tampa, Florida is home for me and my little kitty cat, Alfie. On the bottom left-hand side is my husband, Dr. Stuart Nelson, an oceanographer who got me into travel in a very deep way to understanding more about explorers and history and geography. I'm very active on social media. Jennifer Reynolds travels on Facebook and also on YouTube, where you will find recordings of the Penguin Parlor and also the Polar Parlor. I am very fond of the poles and Antarctic in particular, I became an ambassador, meaning that I leap for Antarctica. I love, educate, advocate and protect the area. And I wanna make the leap with you to the Arctic, to the 2023 Arctic season with Aurora Expeditions and some of the incredible experiences and opportunities that are waiting for you in this really incredible part of the world. We have spent a lot of time together primarily talking about Antarctica, but going forward for the next little while, I want to focus on the Arctic proper. So what exactly is the Arctic or Arctos in Greek, where it originally came from? Well, the Arctic is an ocean. It's the northernmost region on earth, an ocean covered by ice and it's surrounded by land. It is about one and a half times the size of the United States, about 5.4 million square miles, the world's smallest and coldest ocean. There are eight countries that bound around the Arctos or Arctic area, and we get to explore those on board our vessel, which is called the Greg Mortimer, a 70 some odd cabin, 140 passengers, average about 132 people per journey to travel into the Arctic and explore very in deep. I love to say that the ride into town is on the Greg Mortimer, and this is really the magic carpet, our Zodiacs, a fleet of 15 of them that are going to take you ashore to explore these parts of the world, because this is exactly what we're looking for in Iceland and Greenland in the Arctic. So let's take a look at some of these itineraries, where they're going from, what you can expect to see and experience on them. Svalbard Odyssey, the Svalbard is an archipelago and it is in the uh, right above Norway. Tremendous amount of life up in the Svalbard archipelago. There's a couple of small areas, some Russians, some Ukrainians that are here. I find it fascinating that the World Seed Bank is located. In May to July, which is the peak season up into this part of the world, we explore for 12 days or possibly longer with the Svalbard in depth for 15 days. And that will be done exclusively on board our new vessel called the Sylvia Earl. And this my friends is what we are on the hunt for. This is all about ice and it is definitely all about animals. Uh, certainly in search of the polar bears, not elusive in any way, shape or form, but it is significant to note that the population of polar bears is dropping significantly. 20 to 30,000 in the world is the estimated population now. Jewels of the Arctic is one of our classic cornerstone itineraries, two weeks starting up in the north end in the Svalbard archipelago coming along through the Greenland Sea, kissing the coast of Greenland, and then popping in and having a look at Reykjavik in Iceland. 
this is what it looks like to be in the Arctic into some of the villages that we will uh, explore. I find it interesting that on this coast of Greenland, it is where the glacier was birthed that is said to have taken down the uh, Titanic in 1912. And this is how old the ice fields are that we're looking at and the Arctic tundra. Now, if that's two weeks is just not enough time for you, let's pop into just over 21 days and do an Arctic complete. Again, starting up north in this Svalbard archipelago, having more time to explore Franz Josef, Scoresby Sund, and down into Iceland, into Reykjavik. Uh, this is where we are going for walrus. This is where we're going for serenity. It is the geography and the topography here that is so incredibly unique. And it is our activities, the zodiac cruises, the walks, the heights, the photography, polar plunges, bird watching, and historical sites that are included on all of our voyages. But Aurora is also known for having an excellent collection of optional activities like sea kayaking, scuba diving, and even rock climbing in Greenland. And I'll introduce you a little bit more to these activities further in. East Greenland Explorer has become a very, very popular itinerary. I was surprised when I was on board the Greg Mortimer, one of the bridge officers shared with me, he loved the Eastern portion of Greenland for ice and spectacular levels of scenery. And if you note here on the right hand side, kayaking is going to be taking place on the East Greenland Explorer as is rock climbing, one of our optional activities that we have got available. East Greenland is really significant. It is really extraordinary. There's so much to see here. It is about the ice. It's also about some of the peoples and communities that are here, but it is uh, the fresh air. It is getting out and exploring. And that is what Aurora Expeditions is really good at. Our ships are very comfortable. However, the goal at the end of the day is for you to get out and to play in these kinds of experiences, to hang out on the decks and to look at and become more familiar with these polar bears. They live up to an average of 30 years, on average somewhere around 18. And they live, uh, they're a mammal and they live on the ice hunting seals. So the ship is a perfect place to be, to be finding them on the pack ice. Um, this itinerary really fascinates me, again, taking Long Yarbien down to Reykjavik with a stop at a really neat place in the middle that belongs to Norway called Jan Mayen. Um, it's named after an old Dutch whaling captain. I've always wanted to get into this place. It has the northernmost active volcano in the world. Some tremendous fishing economy that is going on here as well. But this is the kind of tundra and walking and environment that folks can expect to see. Reindeer in this part of the world. A circumnavigation of Iceland is taking a place on board the Sylvia Earle next year during the month of June. A little bit of an unusual itinerary for us because yes, it does involve the West Fjords, which is a tremendous amount of Zodiac cruising, but some spots we go into uh, our villages and do involve some more bus rides. And those are a little more different than some of our other itineraries. Folks are always asking us about going up to see the Northern Lights. Uh, a most significant site, if any of you have ever seen them, possibly in Canada or in uh, northern Alaska. Your odds of seeing northern lights on this itinerary are pretty crackerjack. You're starting at the north end. Uh, Kirkney's in the north end of Norway. You'll go right by North Cape or Nordkop, the northern uh, most point. And stop into the Lofton Islands, which I found a very fascinating place. There's a culture here uh, and the Alder, um, the Eiderdown and the ducks that are here. I was just so surprised to discover that in the Lofton Islands. 
But on this itinerary, you are chasing the lights and your odds of seeing them are very good. And you've also got a pit stop in the Faroe Islands. Uh, I have had a chance to call in here before. Such a, a dramatic, unbelievably visual experience in the Faroes. So that is what makes that one a rather unique option. Coming to round it off here as we uh, come up towards our 15 minutes together, there is an opportunity for a complete Northwest Passage. Amazing how many people are interested in achieving this from Greenland all across the northern part of Canada and the US wrapping up in Nome, Alaska with a charter flight down to uh, Anchorage or a partial from Kangar in Greenland over to Cambridge Bay or back again. Uh, this is the Canadian high Arctic and Nunavut, uh, home of, of the narwhals and, um, of course, the, the beluga whales. I am surprised at how much interest there is in this part of the world. And that is what we are best at doing is exploring these kinds of places. So if these are the kinds of spots that interest you, these are the kind of people that are going to take you there, our expedition team. Our activities are absolutely amazing. That includes sea kayaking, scuba diving, snorkeling, stand-up paddle boarding, and paddling and rock climbing in the Arctic. We have a really great page for travel agents right off of our homepage. On here are a selection of things that you can choose from that will navigate around all of our resources, including lots of images of our ships, the Greg Mortimer and the Sylvia Earle, and a phenomenal collection of images and maps, of notes, of ideas, of posts that you can use on social media. So help yourselves to all of those. Jennifer Reynolds Travels is a great place to catch some of the videos that I have created. There's some short videos you'll find up here between 15 to 45 seconds that you can grab and put up on Facebook, a series of 15 minute penguin posts and now parlor posts, polar posts, as we explore what these areas have to offer and take a look at the playlist on Jennifer Reynolds Travels. You'll be able to find more there. The Aurora difference is significant. The devil is always in the details, but we're smaller groups. Ships that were built specifically for us, guides earn their way to work for Aurora, uh, to, for Aurora Expeditions. And education and enrichment has always been a, a part of life for us. While that spirit of adventure seriously exists, we are very lighthearted about how we do things yet we take our traveling very, very seriously. I think most people who are active would thoroughly enjoy the kind of opportunity that's presented here with Aurora up in the polar areas. So today we had a chance to say hello to some of Arctic 23. I invite you back to the polar parlor to take a look at some new itineraries in our collection, including some one opportunities, islands in the uh, Atlantic, the Latin America itineraries, which include Costa Rica and the Panama Canal, and some really interesting things in the British Isles that include England and Scotland. My name is Jennifer Reynolds. Thank you. Thank you for joining us here at Aurora Expeditions and for what we do. And thank you for joining me today in the now called Polar Parlor. <laughs>